The lesson this morning is going to be about constructions, accurate constructions. It's the first of a series of lessons that will lead us through to a rich task where we're going to explore Islamic art. Um, and obviously construction, accuracy in construction and geometrical principles will all play a part in this. Uh, the lesson will uh, centre around a My Maths uh, interactive demonstration to allow the students to understand how to actually construct triangles using side, angle, side or angle, angle, side. We're going to start the lesson by actually thinking about the properties of two triangles and I'm going to get the students to play a yes-no game to work out which kind of triangle they are just as a marker to get them thinking about triangles and what they need to be aware of when they actually start to construct them. I will aim to make sure that they understand the conventions and the labelling of the triangles as we go through the lesson. I won't introduce that to start off with, I will do that part way through, just to see how many students do actually know about the expectations and the conventions of labelling. OK, right. Michelle, you ready? You got the idea? OK. Right, so, she is one of those. Right, all right, now around you go. Over to you, start asking questions. I think John set you off quite nicely. Does it have a right angle? No. No. Um, are two of the sides the same? Kelly. Yes. yes. Is one of the sides shorter than two of the... Jess? No. No. Oh, oh, they're not shorter. OK, that should give you a huge clue. Do you want to go back to the angles? You know, it's not a right angle. Are all three sides exactly similar? Is there equivalent Close. Not quite there with a the name. Equi, equi. Oh, should we give it to her? Right, come on then, Sam. Do you think she deserves that? She was close, wasn't she? Michelle's close. She said equivalent triangle. We don't quite mean equivalent. Tom, do you know what word uh, uh, Michelle's aiming for? E. She said equivalent. She didn't mean e equivalent. Oh, oh. Equilateral triangle. Is she an equilateral triangle? Yeah. She is. Well done. OK, so two triangles. I want you to be thinking about the properties. So, if you want to go and sit down, I'll bring you your chocolate in a minute. And, John, you get one because that was really hard. All three sides are the same length, and we have three angles of the same. Michelle didn't need that to, um, to tell us, but that's uh, one of the triangles, a special tri kind of triangles we're going to draw later on. And then the other one was the isosceles triangle. John, you're almost there, and you were cross with yourself, weren't you? Two sides the same length, two angles the same. So we're going to be constructing all kinds of triangles. Now, the idea is, and this is something I want to do with you um, towards the end of term, we start doing this, I want to explore more about patterns. You can see when you look around the classroom, you know I like the art in maths. You can see all the puzzles up there. I want to do lots of drawing. But in order for us to be able to do that, you have got to be able to construct accurately. So here we have Bob. And Bob is going to show you how to draw accurately. And I mentioned at the beginning when I was talking about accurately... I don't know if you remember, I said, no more than two millimetres out, I'm allowing. We're going to be brilliant today. We've got to be incredibly accurate, because if we don't get it right, when we come to draw our patterns, accuracy is going to make our patterns look wonky. And Bob is going to construct a triangle from two sides and an angle. So, step one, he draws himself a six centimetre line. And then he measures... With protractor. All right, remember when we were using the protractors, what do we have to be careful about when we're using protractors? Gracie? Making sure that it's straight on the line that it's accurate. Straight on the line and it's accurate. What else did we need to be careful about when we were using protractors? That you got it the right way. Got it the right way. Right way in terms of what? Um, like, so that it's like not the opposite way, so that the. Um, Zero's on the opposite side of where it should be. Right, OK. So like you're saying here, we've got zero here and we follow it round. Absolutely. First of all, he starts by drawing the uh, side length and then marks, draws the angle in. So he's made a little red dot joined from the end of the line here up to the little red dot. OK. Then what? 